Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy hump day. And whatever hump comes your way today on this Wednesday, God will get us over the hump <laughs> on every day of the week, not just on a Wednesday hump day, because we're filled in a world of humps to get over, and only God can do that. Hey, guys, got a U Haul truck this morning. Okay, we're in a tight knit community here, and people really like to gossip. And I used to be a big gossiper and used to assume things, and uh, we got to be slow to make assumptions with um, not all the evidence on the table. I was falsely accused. Um, my story is Joseph in the Old Testament. I don't know what yours is, but as uh, we're out here this morning, um, one of the neighbors, you know, is already assuming that we're moving and didn't tell anybody. Now, that will spread by, I don't have my watch on, but that gossip will spread like wildfire here. Like, that's the big news. Daryl and Karina are moving, and nobody told us, and they're leaving, and, you know, this and that and the other thing. And they just go down. To, it's like a domino effect. So, basically, guys, I don't want you to gossip about anybody. Being falsely accused, whether you believe it or not, 100% innocent. Joseph was 100% innocent. And it's just like... What a shame to those people and shame on them for gossiping. Shame on me when I used to gossip back in the day. But after what I've been through, I don't want to hear gossip. I don't want to hear nothing. I'm about my father's business. And if people are struggling, we are going to look for the good in people, not not point out the bad because we can start with ourselves when it comes to that, right or wrong, right? But the whole message here, the Lord wanted me to stop and hold up for a minute. We're getting new carpet put in our cabin and that's why we need to move everything out. So we're uh, going to be putting everything into the U-Haul truck today. And uh, me and Karina are pitching in. Uh, great wife I got. Amazing lady. But don't assume things. Um, what is it? Uh, don't believe nothing you hear and half of what you see. Don't believe nothing you hear and half of what you see. And half of what you see here, you know, is a moving truck. So Satan will put thoughts in your head. You see a guy walking down the street. Um, you know, if I picked up a, a beer can, per, you know, for say, right, or per se, um, and it's out in the yard, it blew out of somebody threw it out of their truck. I pick it up. I'm walking to throw it in a trash can or save it because you get ten cents for every aluminum can here or bottle. Um, people assume, hey, look, he's drinking. He's the Christian guy. He's drinking. Heard it before. It's so crazy, right? How people assume things. I guess assume means make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> right? But the message is throughout the Bible, don't gossip. God hates gossip because when you gossip and don't know the whole truth, it's, uh, and even if you do know the whole truth, it's still not worth talking about other people's business. Um, you know, put it to you that way. My dad used to say, uh, my father, Daryl Sr., he would say, it's why it's called their business and not your business. So mind your business. <laughs> and then I get a smack on the back of the head, you know, <laughs> to give me a reminder. Don't do that or you get one really good. <laughs> and Father God in heaven, our Father in heaven is Christians. We shouldn't be gossiping. We shouldn't be talking about other people's business. If we got time to do that, we should stop and hold up and be Christ-like and pray for people who are having trouble. But it's already started that we're moving and didn't tell anybody. I mean, to me, that's sad, you know. People are running around saying, oh, he's guilty of this, he's guilty of that. To me, that's sad. I used to get angry at people, and God said, they believe a lie from hell. Don't be mad at them. They're running around acting like they know the truth, and they're talking about a lie. And I felt sorry for them that day. Father God in heaven told me, feel sorry for them. They're looking foolish. And we want to pray for everybody. And to my Christian brothers and sisters, don't gossip. Don't gossip about nobody. It's your choice. I'm only telling you what God's telling me to put on your, my heart to you. Don't gossip because you will look like a fool in the end. And we don't need to do that. Mind our business. And when we hear things about people, it's okay to listen to people gossiping. But I'm fast to say I don't want to hear it. Me being falsely accused, I don't want to hear what you think's going on because you saw this or you, you heard this. If you don't know the whole truth, you shouldn't be talking about a lie. No gossip. And, uh, and even if you know the truth, like my dad, my father, uh, Daryl Sr. would tell me, still none of your business mind your business you know be careful be warned you know i get it you know this and that but we don't need to be walking around town gossiping but it's already started here and uh i'm gonna leave you with that i got some work to do but i just had to stop and hold up and uh give this message and pray for everybody down in florida and all around the world that are the weak and the innocent being bullied by demon possessed people and all this natural disasters happening pray for everybody to be safe and find our loved ones and uh just to be safe and uh make it to another day peace be with you remember no gossiping hallelujah